Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by William Byron, the driver of the number 24 Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports in the NASCAR Cup Series. William, how's it going, man? Great. Thanks for having me. Okay, so this weekend, there's been lots of hype leading up to this event, the LA Clash out at the LA Coliseum but it's finally happening this weekend on Sunday. Did you ever think, first off, that you'd ever be racing inside a stadium? Oh, um, I could envision it a little bit, but not, not realistically uh, over the last few years. But, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a new, new idea, new concept for us. So um, excited to see kind of how it plays out, and hopefully it, it puts on a good show for the fans. Yeah, it's uh, definitely definitely going to be interesting for sure. Okay, so let's talk about this this next gen car for a second. How have you how are you getting used to this thing compared to the Gen Six you've ran for the last few years? Yeah, it's 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 been a lot different uh, to start out. I think it had a lot of growing pains that are pretty normal with a new car. So we had to figure out the steering, figure out some parts and pieces that were uh, needed adjusting on. So. I think as we got through some of those things, the, the car has really come a long way. And, um, you know, now I think it's it's to a point where it's not that different than the previous car. So I uh, I'm excited for it. I think I think that we're we're um, in a good place with it. Um, you never know how the first few races are going to go and and what you know, who's going to be fast and whatnot. But I feel like we're in a good position to go into these uh, these first few races and and really show what we're capable of. So. Uh, looking forward to it and just kind of excited to get out to the Coliseum. How would you assess last year? I know you got a win early on in the season and then you, you had some good runs and performances. You, and you got to the round of 12. How would you assess last season in terms of what you and the 2014 and what you guys accomplished? Yeah, I think we had the speed. Um, you know, we had at times the consistency for a good portion of the season. We were really consistent. And then when we tried to start, you know, leveling up our game to win more races I think we we fell short um in some ways and I think that we went to work this offseason to try to make those things better um so that we could win more races more often so um looking forward to it I think that we're we're capable this year of doing some great things and we just got to go out there and and kind of learn as we go um and and see how this year plays out so you also, one of the biggest changes to this season is you also have a new spotter. Um, if I'm saying this correct, of course, uh, Brandon Lines is on the, uh, will be spotting for you this season. What mm-hmm. is it been like getting to know him and what's it going to be like getting used to a new spotter? Oh yeah, it's going to be great. I think Brandon and I have worked together in the past, so it's not, not completely unfamiliar uh, for us, but it is, you know, an adjustment period during the first couple of tests that we did and I'm sure the first race will have, you know, some, some learning things that we have to get through, but um, he's a great spotter. I feel like he knows what he's doing. He's confident. Um, so I don't have, I don't see any issues with, with that. I'm pretty excited for that. And um, just excited in general for what our team's capable of. And we've had a good chance this year, I think, to do some off season testing, which has been nice to nice to get to do because, you know, I think it's helped our team, uh, prepare for this year. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to everything that is kind of ahead for us. So what enter entering in the LA clash, um, what, what are you guys expecting to accomplish with this new, cause this would be the first time we're going to compete in an actual race with this car. What do you guys want to see out of that? Um, what do you want to, what do you want to accomplish out in, uh, with the Coliseum? Well, first to win. Um, and then I think honestly, just after that, just trying to learn the car and the tendencies of it, um, how much the tire wear, how high that is, how, how, you know, how you can use the car, um, on restarts and, um, long runs and things like that. Some of the, some of the larger questions that we don't have answered yet, but honestly, just go out there. It's an exhibition race, try to have fun. Um, you know, definitely put ourselves in a good position to try to win and uh, see what happens. So, um, you know, it's a good tone setter for the year. I feel like you can learn a lot about, you know, what you're going to go into for the rest of the year. And so we're looking forward to going out there and trying to um, put a good foot forward for our first race. Have you been to Los Angeles? 
Uh, yeah, it's been a while, but I've been there um, probably when I was younger. So um, I've been there various times. Um, you know, we race out there in California at Auto Club a little bit. So familiar with the area, but haven't spent a lot of time there. Yeah. So with, um, you know, I know though there's also a lot of teams, you know, bringing only about one, maybe maybe two cars to Daytona and stuff. Where are you guys at? And you guys, are you pressured to maybe, I, I don't know, say like trying to keep the car in, you know, one piece because with all the, you know, with all the part shortages and all that, or has that been, obviously I don't think that's been communicated to you yet. Yeah. I mean, I don't really uh, focus on it too much. I think that my team, my team worries about it a little bit more than I do, but um, I think the most nervous that you'll be is probably that, that dual race at Daytona, because, you know, you don't have a lot of time to really, um, you know, fix a lot of things. So that'll be interesting, but um, nonetheless, I think before that we'll, we'll be in a good position to kind of, you know, just learn as we go. And um, I'm definitely not thinking about it too much. Okay. Last question. Uh, who are you pulling for in the Super Bowl? Who are you, who do you think is going to win? Oh man, I, I like um, I like Joe Burrow, but I also I also like the Rams story because uh, because of Matt Stafford and what he's been through. So I don't know. Both are both are pretty cool. I mean, that Burrow is kind of a, you know, super talented guy. He's, you know, young. So that's relatable. But um, yeah, Matt Stafford's kind of been through it all. And it'd be nice to see him win a Super Bowl at his age. I mean, I'm from Michigan. We're used to, I'm not a Lions fan, but I am from Michigan. So I've watched Matthew Stafford many times. So yeah, well, we're kind of mixed, mixed around here about, about that. So yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good, it'll be a good one. I, I figured I, ha I had to ask you, I know you're a big football fan, so I figured why not? But yeah. anyway, William Byron, thank you so much for coming yeah. and talking with us and uh, good luck at the LA clash this weekend. We'll talk to you later in the year. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.